Um, I was watching this thing on YouTube, which is quite um, shocking. It's pastors of LA. That's all I have to say. <laughs> uh, pastors of LA. Um, have, you, have you all seen this? Um, it, yeah, okay. So who's, who's seen this? Who's seen Pastors of L.A.? Okay. You know what's interesting about that? Almost exclusively black people in the room who've seen that. <laughs> Almost exclusively. Okay. Who's seen Pastors of L.A.? Um, I just thought I'd point that out. Okay. <laughs> um, pastors of L.A. is a reality TV show um, about a group of pastors um, they're all black except one. There's one, there's one pastor who's, 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 a, who's a white pastor in Los Angeles. And what they did in order to make this reality TV show is, I believe, they said, what group of pastors could we choose that would make Christianity look the worst? <laughs> and how can we follow their lives? Um, and, and, and that's what they did. And it is, it is grievous. Um, it's horrible. Um, it's sad, really, but this is a picture of this is a picture of the commercialization of Christianity in America. It's big business, man. It's big business, um, and and pastors have become in many you know areas like that. Um, pastors have become everything but pastors, um, and that's what those men are. They're everything but pastors, and I mean these guys have you know, five and six cars in the garage, and there's the Rolls Royce, you know, there's the Bentley, and there's the Mercedes, and I think today I'm going to take the, you know what I mean, the Ferrari, and I mean, it's just opulent, just, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, they're all word of faith, you know, prosperity type, you know, preachers. Um, yeah, I think every one of them's divorced and remarried. Um, one of them's divorced and not remarried, but I think every one of them, um, except, except the white guy. He's the only one who, who hadn't been, you know, divorced and divorced, remarried. Um, so yeah, it's, yeah. But, and I think, I think things like that are intentional. You know, uh, I think, I, I think that's what the enemy wants. I think you see that on television for the same reason that you don't usually see John MacArthur on television. You know, when they want to talk about you know, cultural issues. They want some guy who stammers and sounds like an idiot and whatever, but someone who's unafraid, someone who will just tell them what the scripture says, who won't back down, you know, who will preach the gospel. Man, they don't want to hear from that guy. We don't, we don't want to hear from you. We want to hear from the person who ordains homosexuals. You know, we want to hear from the person who's, you know, social gospel, social justice, neo-Marxism. You know, we want to hear from the person who's a heretic. We want to hear, these are the people that we want to represent Christianity. Um, and I think that's intentional uh, because there's a desire um, for the things that we preach um, to not be heard. Um, and I think, you know, unfortunately, these guys don't even care that they're being used in this regard. Um, yeah, it's sad. Yeah. I bet they didn't come to John MacArthur. Because he's in L.A., right? <laughs> Guaranteed they didn't come to him, you know? <laughs>